look at that majestic beast. <laughs> this is a shoebill stark and really one of the most fascinating birds, I think, at least fascinating looking birds. I've never met one in real life, so I don't know how interesting they are personally. Um, but this, that's texture. That's interesting. That is fun to look at. All right, so while I was waiting for you guys, I decided to go ahead and sketch my canvas. So I'll get this up out of the way. Yeah, we'll leave it kind of big picture. Okay, way over there. All right, so I went ahead and sketched this um, just for time's sake. I've got a few different brushes I'll try to use, mostly filberts, naturally. And my basic color palette, red, yellow, red, yellow, blue, black and white. Um, so this guy's mostly covered in gray. I think actually first, let's do those eyes. Um, his fur is very blue gray. His eyes are very light. Too light to cover later, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in now, and that'll be easy to work around. Easy enough anyway. Okay, so I'll let that be, and then try to get into some of my grays for the furs. I'll do mostly whites and blues. I know I called it fur again, didn't I? <laughs> Furry birds. Because I've already got the black coming through um, from the canvas. So if I just kind of lightly add a wispy feathery brush stroke over the top of it, maybe I can keep both the texture and the color. We'll see, huh? These are some really soft looking feathers. I don't know a lot about shoebills. I know they uh, originated in Africa and most of them are living in zoos now. Endangered and all. Maybe a little more blue on that part. And they're huge. They're like four feet tall. I was watching some video of one of these guys um, <laughs> um, standing on somebody's back, like it jumped up on somebody's back and was like walking around like it was king of a person or something. They do this weird little head bob. And they tell people when they're coming into the zoo that uh, they have to do the same head bob or the bird will just walk away. So if they want to see the bird, they have to do the weird bird head bob. <laughs> and actually, it'd be fun to see one. That might be worth a road trip. Maybe I'll add that onto my to-do list for, you know, when I retire or go on the road or whatever. See a shoe bill. Take lots of pictures. Okay, so I better get going a little bit quicker on this. We're about three and a half minutes in. Yep, much faster. Get to talking and quit paying attention to the painting. That's no good. Keep going. Now this is, whoops, way more white than blue out here. Or gray, I should say, it's way more gray. Still have to get to that beak. With six minutes left. It'll be okay, I can do it. Should be a little darker in the neck. It's got that shadow area in there, so I gotta be careful to not, not lighten that up too much. Okay, feathers pretty close to done. He's got 
a little more texture down in here. Maybe I can get some of that added. But maybe with a smaller brush. Okay, let's move on. Now I have that large beak that has a lot of texture. So mostly orange, so I'll just take some of this red and yellow. It's definitely not that orange, but that's okay. We'll, we'll work with it. Way not even close. That's kind of close. White. Yep, that's pretty close. Close enough. You knew what I was going to say, didn't you? Close enough for rock and roll? Yep, I almost said it. <laughs> a little bit more red down this side. And it's maybe if I can just leave some black spots instead of adding black spots later, that would probably help speed up the time. And I don't know if these are black spots or blue spots. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're pretty dark. I'm going with black. All right, take a little bit more white for that second layer. He's got some much brighter spots. I think it's a he anyway, kind of looks like a he. It's probably the grumpy face that makes me think that. to that orange again. I feel like I want to add a lot of detail to this one, but it's hard to hold off. More red. I think that really needs to be a lot lighter in there, doesn't it? Try and leave some spots. It's got that little bottom lip, <laughs> bottom beak. You can also see that right back in here. Okay, a little more white in that orange. A little more yellow, too, I think. Yeah, we definitely need a brighter beak, don't we? Definitely. Trying too hard to get the texture in there, and then I'm forgetting to get the color. Color's a little more important, I think. Well, not necessarily color, but value. Um, value being like the lights and the darks. Way more important than anything else. If you can get the right values in the right place, then pretty much nothing else matters. Most of your work is done at that point. Okay, I don't want to make this too smooth, though. Just want to brighten it up kind of back in this area. A little white, a little yellow. How are we? Nine minutes and 13 seconds, so I'm going to have to quickly finish up here on this 10-minute painting. Okay, this side is a little darker, but a little more color anyway. Much redder. down there. All right, let's deal with those eyes. The bee could use a little more work, but I'm going to 
stop for now and see about those eyes um, because there's a little more texture that should be happening in there. So we've got a little bit of gray right around the eyes. And there's some dark areas, but it's not that dark. Okay, a little over here. This is much darker on uh, the left eye, my left, not the birds. Oh, 10 minutes, 47 seconds, uh-oh, running out of time. Okay, I'm just darken a little bit right around here. Make sure I get that bark, that, um, <laughs> the eyebrow. I guess it's an eyebrow. Okay. No, I think a little lighter over there. I think it's losing its shape. It does need to be lighter. Oh, but now the paint is wet, so I can't get the same texture. Well, so be it, I guess. Okay, can we make him look any angrier? Let's try. to stay close enough for rock and roll pretty soon though it's almost 12 minutes in okay well I'm gonna have to call it I would like to spend a lot more time on this guy what a fun painting I just have one part that I just want to adjust a little bit then I'll quit because yes it's supposed to fit into 10 minutes but also you have to be happy with it and that's part of the face is just sticking out a little too much so there, darken that down, dull this back a little. Okay, all right, thanks for watching and maybe I'll see you tomorrow.